Today I will show you how to make this glitch transition to stop looking like a goofy R CapCut editor. Let's go! In my case, I want to use these two clips of Joe Goldberg. And the first step is going to be creating a new adjustment layer. So head to the top, click on layer, new, and then select adjustment layer. You want to make sure this is about the length that you want to cover with your transition. And because in my case, I want the glitch transition to cover these two clips, I'm going to cut the layer to the exact length of these two clips by going to the end and then pressing Ctrl, Shift, and D. Delete everything that comes past this point, And now we have this clean snippet to work with. For the glitch itself, we're going to go to effects and presets and search for glitchify. Very important, if you can't find this inside of your After Effects, join my Discord server. Once we search that up, we're gonna drag it onto our adjustment layer and it will already start glitching. The problem now is that the entire clips will be glitched and there's no cool transition coming up. To fix that, we're gonna go to the very beginning of our adjustment layer and set a keyframe for the glitchify amount. Put this from 50 down to 0 and then press U to bring up the keyframes. As you can see, we have one keyframe at the beginning and also our glitch is gone. Now to make it appear, we're gonna go to the place where our clips cut, which as you can see for me is right here, and then we're gonna create a second keyframe, this time for the glitchify amount at 50. The higher you go with this value, the more glitch you're gonna get, but don't put too much because it will look off. To make the glitch disappear, we're gonna go to the end of the adjustment layer and set a third keyframe, again at the value number 0. Now we should have 3 keyframes and when we play ahead, our transition looks like this. It's still going a bit too fast and it's not looking very clean. So first of all, to fix the speed, we're gonna go into the glitchify speed and put that from 50 down to 5. That will just make all of the elements inside of the glitch, for example this line here, move a bit slower. And because in my case, I want the glitch to look a bit different at the peak position. I'm gonna go to random seed and put that from 0 up to 1850. As you can see, it will move our glitch a bit around and position all of the elements differently. And then I also want this white line to be a bit thinner, so I'm gonna go to image glitch. In here, open up the glitch slice and put the amount from 50 down to 25. As you can see, now our line is nice and thin, but to make it look even smoother, we're gonna change the graph. For that, select all of the keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant and click easy ease. Open the graph editor and make sure that you select your value graph. We wanna start in the bottom left and just extend this yellow handle towards the middle like so. For the top one, we're also going to extend that a bit towards the middle, but not all the way. And now copy the same look for the opposite side. So we're going to start at the top, just drag that a bit towards the middle like this. And then for the bottom one, extend that towards the middle as much as you did with the first one. As you can see, now when you play ahead, our glitch will appear a bit more suddenly. And that's exactly what we want for this transition. Now this tutorial is only about the glitch transition, but I really recommend that you add a blur and a shake as well. If you want to learn how to do that, I made a separate tutorial on how to add these. And once that's done, the most important part is going to be adding a good color correction. If you still don't use a good color correction, I don't know what you're doing. So if you want to get my exact color correction I use to make my edits look the best as possible, make sure you check the first link in the description because I'm still running a huge sale in my shop. Thank you for all of your guys' amazing feedback. And with that being said, if this video helped you, make sure you like and subscribe. It would really make my day. Watch this tutorial to make your own edit. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.